Welcome to the study on stewardship. This is part one of a series on various topics of stewardship. I want to talk for a few minutes on stewardship of time. You know, we are all stewards or managers of many things that God has freely given us. And on the day of judgment, God is going to ask all of us to give an account of the various blessings He has given us. In this fast-paced world, balancing time is a challenge to all of us. When we go to the Bible, the first thing we come across is the concept of time. In the very first verse of the Bible, the Bible starts this way. In Genesis 1.1, in the beginning... The word beginning is a concept of time, isn't that right? Here is a period in remote antiquity, hid in the depths of eternal ages. But you and I are bound by time. The very earth we were taken from and the very earth we are living on is a moving clock and we all move with this clock. God created for mankind a 24-hour period right in the beginning of the history of planet Earth. Because sin invaded our planet, there are many inequalities in this world. Some are rich and some are poor. Some are educated, some are not. Some have better environment to live, some don't. But one thing we all have in common is the same amount of time each day. God has allotted 24 hours to each one of us. 24 hours is 86,400 seconds for each one of us in a day. God has given each one of us 86,400 seconds today. No one gets any more or any less. Time is a resource. Don't we say time is money? Moreover, it's a very unique resource. It cannot be accumulated or stored up to be used later like money. We're all forced to spend it whether we choose to or not, at a fixed rate of 60 seconds every minute. It cannot be stopped or turned on or off like a machine or replaced like a man. It is irrevertible. Every second we spend, dear brothers and sisters, on this earth is a gift. They belong to God because God is the author of time. God has numbered our days and our seconds. We can choose to squander that gift or we can choose to spend those seconds serving our Lord and Savior. You know, the devil wants uh, us to squander our time and waste it. He wants us to waste it by doing nothing or doing things that have no real value, eternal value from God's perspective. He knows He has a limited time in his hand after Jesus won the battle on Calvary. The Bible says in Revelation 12 and verse 12, For the devil knoweth that he hath but a short time, and he is using all his time to fight against God and God's people. Now, if the devil knows he has a short time and is working hard, how much more shorter is our time? And we are hardly working the work of our Heavenly Father, which He has given us. We have much shorter time than the devil. We live for how long? 70, 80 years? In fact, life has become so uncertain in these last days that we don't know when we might die. In the short time we have, we need to wisely use it. Plan according to God's word. The psalmist says in Psalm 90 and verse 12, So teach us to number our days that we might apply our hearts unto wisdom. Since the days are evil, the Bible says in Colossians 4 and verse 5, Redeeming the time. Another version says, Making good use of the time. Making good use of the 24 hours we have every day. You know, God will ask us on that day how we have spent 24 hours of each day of the year. For time is one of the greatest treasures God has given each one of us. We all have to wisely plan how we use each day. Each one, we have our own schedules and charts to follow. 
you know, work-related activities and sleep, they take a junk of our time in the chart. Certain things like sleep, work, study, eating, we all have to do whether we like it or not. They're necessary. The eternal Son of God, who is the author of time, he placed himself in the bounds of time. He came to this earth and showed us what are the most important things for us to do on a daily basis. He felt communion with his Father was the most important thing. When you read the Bible, you will see Jesus spent so much of time in prayer. The pen of inspiration tells us here, Jesus himself, while he dwelt among men, was often in prayer. His humanity made prayer a necessity and a privilege. He, was, he found comfort and joy in communion with his Father. And if the Savior of men, the Son of God, felt the need of prayer, how much more should feeble, sinful, mortal feel the necessity of fervent, constant prayer? Steps to Christ 93. You know, we need to give our best time, our quality and quantity time to God and also to bless other people who need our services. You know, when we seek God and His kingdom first, all things will be added to us. Now, Jesus spent so much time, how much more of the 24 hours time should you and I spend and treasure up these, uh, these eternal values? We need to spend time communing with God and draw strength. Are we spending enough time studying the Word of God? You know, we are living in a very fast-paced world and time seems to be catching up with all of us. We are getting old so fast. The psalmist says in Psalm 89, 47, Remember how short my time is. Now, God has given us 24 hours today. In this 24 hours, how much time are you giving God and also to help other people? Or are we living just for ourselves? It is important not to live selfishly because selfishness is the root cause of sin. A true and faithful steward will never be selfish but will always be willing to share their time and blessings with others. If God finds us faithful in this use of time on earth, He will give us unlimited time that matches His lifespan to spend it in useful service in the courts above and in the new earth to come. Let's be good stewards in everything, in every gift that God has given us, including the stewards of time. Let's pray. Dear Father, I pray that we all would be good stewards of everything, and especially time, that we would know how to give our best time to you and in this time to lay up treasures in heaven. In Jesus' name.